Please sit back and enjoy. Mom's desk. 
Sophie, you're not supposed to go around reading your mom's diary. No, she's supposed to go around reading yours. But look, 1979. It's the one she kept the year she got pregnant with me. You know how she won't talk about my dad? She says she can't remember. But listen, July 17th, what a night. After the show, Sam rode me over to the little island. We danced on the beach, and we kissed on the beach, and dot, dot, dot. What? Dot, dot, dot. That's what they did in the olden days. <laughs> Sam's the one. I know he is. I've never felt like this before. <laughs>
Stocks and bonds, and they want that. Why? You know, I've had enough. I've been dealing in the world, but I've never really seen it. Well, you should see what he's done to my world. He's got me online, emailed, wired up, and knuckled down. You have to move with the times, Donna. No more drop goes under the mattress. You just invent me a machine that'll make the beds. If they did, you'd go along behind it, making them again. I know you, Mom. Are you kidding? I'll be more than ready to put my feet up when the boat comes in. Speaking of boats, I'd sink those unless you've got more by the jetty. Sink it? Well, it's a bit of an eyesore. That eyesore is going to be my floating casino. What? Sky <coughs> Eddie are transforming it into a millionaire's paradise. Sailing around the islands, gambling under the stars. Gambling millionaires. Maybe a few dress husbands on board, eh, Tanya? Oh, I don't think so, honey. I spent their millions. <laughs> well, girls, this is my jackpot. I need a break. I need a vacation. I've been waiting for all the fifteen years and I still need to pay off. Thank you. 
and God was on our back. Folks, that was nothing. You should try a kayak in the Oklahoma swamps. Yes, I read your book. A bloke and a boat and a boat swan. Thanks, Harry. I heard I sold coffee <laughs> somewhere. Uh, travel books are my passion, a distraction from the daily rigors of the London rush hour. Do you two want to hear something interesting? You see that, Severna? I am rather impressed. I remember a old hut here. Oh, I was dreading running down with the goats. Give me goats before camels. There was this one time when the cow hide, the shine was beating Sorry down. Sorry to interrupt, Indiana. But my point is, that's my Taverna. I built it. Well, I designed it. Dripped the plans, what, 21 years ago? I can't believe she's actually gone and built the damn thing. Yeah. Donna, who else? This is something I drew up on the back of the menu. I had no idea. How do you know it's yours? Buildings are like babies. You always know your own. I wouldn't know about babies. I've been living out of a backpack all my life. The happy wanderer, eh? Tell me, do you think the island will inspire any prose? I hope so. When I got the wedding invite, I showed my editor a piece on childhood haunts we visited. Were you born here? I was born in the U.S., but my mother's weak. You know, the only time I came to Greece was to visit with my great aunt on the mainland. And that was 21 years ago. So, now you can write about Samson Verda and the Zora Park. No, I think this island should remain the secret item I've always remembered. Yes, but if you lived here, maybe the secret idol would be the boatload of tourists with big bucks. Maybe they would have some stuff here then. Where is everyone? Good afternoon. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Bill Austin. You have a room for me? Bill Austin. I'm Bright Harry Bright. Harry. So, you must be. Said Carmichael. You are expecting us. Oh. Yes, I'll go and get the keys. <clears throat> Charming. But I hope to get my tongue around a little Greek. I haven't spoken in 21 years. 21 years? You know, this is beginning to feel like a setup. Here's a story for you, Bill. Three men, strangers, are invited to a wedding. They're invited to an island they haven't seen in 21 years by a woman they haven't seen in 21 years. Why are they here? Hey, that's not bad. Okay, Harry, Spill, what swore you away from the Bank of England? Is this an interview? All right, well, for me, Donna's invitation brought back many happy memories. Why, Nora? Is that a quote? No. I know this guitar. H.B. Headbanger. That's what they used to call me in those days. And D.S. Sanchez. I bought her this guitar. Ten quid and my Johnny Martin t-shirt. Now who says I'm an unadventurous old stick in the mud? Who? My other half. A big house, a fast car, and a season ticket to the Chelsea Football Club isn't enough for some people, is it? They want the great white hunter, too. Well, I can give them spontaneity. That's why I'm here. Down in my wild side, I was an exchange student in Paris, and I followed them all the way to Greece spontaneously. <laughs> Oh,
You're joking. What? Oh, as if. Well, you could have been making some sort of statement on the tyranny of wedlock. You know more about that than me. Well, darling, you don't need your Mr. Right. I have. I did. And all they wanted to do was settle down and have babies. No thanks. No. Children can be such subversive little buggers. I mean, who would have thought that Donna, the icon of female independence, would have a daughter committing matrimony at 20? White weddings are trendy. What's wrong with these kids? Do you remember those t-shirts we used to wear? Marriage is an institution. For people who belong in an institution. Mm. Girls today seem to think that a woman's greatest achievement is getting a man. You've had three husbands. I rest my case. Oh, look. Oh, my Lord. We were so young. I don't know what the gals of the whole woman press would have to say about my outfit. <laughs> hey, why don't we do a number tonight for Sophie's wedding? I'll have to let out a few scenes, but... <laughs> Where's Sophie? Haven't seen her. Why? We must find her now. Ta -da! What the hell is that about? Found it in the trunk. You should hang this in the bar. Show Sophie what a funky mom she's got. No. Get rid of it, burn it. I never want to see that again. What's wrong? What happened? I thought it was over. Past. I'd almost forgotten, but it isn't. What isn't? Nothing. <laughs> Leave me alone. I can't talk about it. I told us what happened. All my life has been tapping at my shoulder. Of course it had to come out now. It had to. God, why was I such a stupid little idiot? Thank mm -hmm. you.
home to get married. Bum. Typical man. Um, well, I'm not quite sure it was him. You see, there were a couple others. Donna Sheridan! You dark horse! Why should she tell us? Because I didn't think I'd ever have to. I didn't think Aubrey would be sitting in my bar the day before my daughter's wedding. What? In the bar? <laughs> Don't let them see you. I can't see anyone. Who are they? Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. You think I'd forget my daughter's dad? It's Sam, Bill Austin, and Harry Headbanger. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> Why have they all turned up like this? It's like some horrible twist of fate. It is very Greek. <laughs> Do they know? They can't know. I never told anyone. Why are they here to ruin Sophie's wedding? I thought you were a king of this wedding. And I don't want them spoiling it. I've done a damn good job with Sophie all by myself, and now I'm going to be muscled out by a sperm. No, you're not. Keep calm. You're safe this evening. It's a male-free zone at Sophie's party. And tomorrow, Tanya and I will take them fishing. Fishing? Oh, please. Well, what do you suggest we do with three men? Now that takes me back. <laughs> Donna, Donna, you should have told us. I remember that Bill Austin. Oh, he was a hot slice of beef cake. Oh, sure, it's a laugh and a memory to the two of you, but I was the one who got pregnant. I suppose this just about serves me right. Oh, my God. You sound just like your mother. <laughs> I do not. Yes, you, you do. do. Whatever happened to our Donna? Life and soul of the party, and rocked it to Primo. She grew up, that's all. Ah, uh, well, we're all back down again. You haven't done anything to be ashamed of. Yeah, screw them if they can't take a joke. <laughs>
told me yet. Paralactias is the Orpheus bar, Mugrest and the Medusas, and Pepper's bringing his handcuffs. Don't go. What? Is this not our last night of freedom? No, I don't think don't go, I mean... Is that really how you see it? Yeah! No! <laughs> I see you as... The last night before the biggest adventure of my life. Hmm. You know... Oh, I said I wanted to find my dad. Oh, Sophie, we've been over this a thousand times. You don't need your dad. I'm here. Yes. Oh, Sky. Whatever happens, you'll never leave me, will you? Are you crazy? You've turned my world upside down. <laughs>
my mom for that money? I don't know. You do. Please tell me. What has your mother said? She won't talk about the past. She doesn't understand why I need to know. You've got to talk to her. This has got nothing to do with her. My whole life, there's been one big unanswered question, and I don't want any more secrecy. But Sophie, this hasn't been my secret. Sophie, the boys are back. 